Read it. That's not a piano. It's not a harpsichord either. It doesn't have the pluck string sound, but it doesn't sound... It, it sounds too way too thin to be a piano. Okay, we have a manuscript too, which looks clearly old. And, uh... Remember, a man in a wig. Whoever is most impertinent has the best chance. I pay no attention whatever to anybody's praise or blame. So it's supposed to be... Simply follow my own feelings. Haydn? Maybe? That's just what I'm trying to do, Herr Mozart. Oh, okay, we got Mozart. Are we gonna get reoccurring visions appearances of by composers? Cause that'd be kinda cool. I'm Joe Phonium, my name is Joe and I play the Euphonium and welcome back from Ooh, Tchaikovsky, Mozart in the Jungle. And what do you care? It doesn't affect the fucking triangle. It's an idiophone. It resonates more clearly. <laughs> we have reached a new level of nerd nerdery. Ew, that's not good. Well, only for new hires. We're all in this together. Don't shortchange our young brothers and sisters, Bob. Exactly. True, true. I like what's it called? What's his name? Didi. Because if um, yeah, if they shortchange the new hires, then there's precedent for making cutbacks on the long-term hires, long-term musicians there. What exactly is he having her make for him? That is how Madison taste. Madison? Anyone know? Anyone want to help me out here? Brilliant collection of bats. You know, he left me one once. Oh, I never gave it back. He practiced too. He practiced schmoozing them too. Thomas loves that cravat. I'll check in with you later. He remembered one thing and they're going to make a whole thing about it. Okay, so these are all the orchestra donor people that keep the ship afloat, essentially. So this little fate to kickstart our 2015 capital campaign. Now, each of you will have a number of musical notes in front of you. And on those notes, there will oh. be uh, different numbers. Oh, that's, I see so it in the background. That's cool. That's cute. Raise a note, preferably the one with the most zeros on it. <laughs> for myself and for the other fellow. That way we will find out... Which one of us in my I... is the most well endowed? <laughs> Thank you. I know it's a cheap, a cheap joke. As soon as they said endowment, I was kind of waiting yeah. for that to but happen. But as much as your age, I was dead. <sighs> I'm trying to find the music within the music. The essence, not uh, the appearance. Oh, a poet. No, I get what he means. It seems to me to be about... Glory. <laughs> German. Um, but I, I get what he means, you know, not just study the score, know the notes and all the markings and everything, but also figure out, you know, what's the line, what's the phrasing, what's the the dra the drama of the music and all that. Are we implying that Rodrigo actually made that mark? Hey, is that a... No, it's, that's not the right bridge. I thought they were going across Queensboro right there. It's a rhythm. I've always experienced that in finding rhythmic patterns or pitch patterns and things. I mean, like, he's personifying these instruments, but it is a thing that musicians do tend to actually realize. Like, if I go... Like, I'm not just doing the rhythm, I'm also hearing... High, low, 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 high, low, 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 high. 
And it's always puzzled me, like, do people actually, other people, like, notice those things? And now he's just taking it to a new level here. Who would help if I knew Spanish? Oh, there we go, we got subs. That's clever. Give him music. Yep. Take his music away. Or say, play any note. It's the Chopin Minute Waltz, which was given lyrics by Barbara Streisand, famously. Oh, that's his wife. What's with that old guy with that very interesting hair there? Oh no. You gotta turn off your notifications there, buddy, when your other girls start calling you. Just infighting. Says keep refrigerated and there's no room. Okay. There are bigger fish to fry from the sounds of things. Oh, that's really we will I will put it on the list. See, she's an interesting person and I I like how they're approach what is she doing? What what's she shooting? What is she shooting up? Can we get? Into, do we do we have a label? And it's turned away from us, of course. Mrs. Schaefer, can I borrow your glasses? You can borrow anything you want. Okay, okay, Gloria. I think we can get you your own drink. Can you somebody please give him a glass of champagne? I know what he's doing. He's changing the levels to make different and, notes. Uh, What's he gonna play though? Everyone come closer, please. Would you please come? <laughs> She's interested. <laughs> I really wanna get to know those that their relationship better there. She seems fun. She seems like a fun person. Are we doing fair release? So, and... That's cool. That's really cool. So yeah, so each of them are, have the different notes and pitches. They're gonna throw money at this. That's that that's very smart. Like in universe, very smart. Cause then it's a participatory activity, so they feel extra engaged in the music making process. It's fun for them. Uh-oh. I mean, it's fun and cute to listen to someone, but... That was... Whoa. Not good. And endorse the use of illegal hallucinogenics. Good heavens! He flips from composer to composer, mocking a carefully considered program because the 1812 overture is obviously not good enough for him! Did I... Have I insulted you in any way? 
Oh. You have insulted Tchaikovsky. Roll credits. God, I wish I'd watched Real Madrid all those years ago instead of judging that damn youth conducting competition. Thomas, enough. Settle down. They're going to have to distance themselves. The orchestra is going to have to distance themselves from Thomas. I'll go. I'm mortified. I'm got to. Please forgive me if anything I said yesterday made I want that table he's got. That is an awesome, like table for studying scores because you know these things are big can't fit this on a normal table who is one of those avant-garde scores And yes, it actually does mean, it actually is music. What is this? Well, if that is what it is, and not just... so bizarre. We often wrote in cold. Who? Ana Maria. What? She's coming to New York. Oh, that's... She's telling me to stay away. Yeah, they mentioned her in the, in the last one um, with the little podcast guy. Okay, so who's Anna Maria? Okay, so they teased us with the um, Tchaikovsky thing there. Though apparently 1812 is on the pro or was on the program. Um, hopefully we'll get to see that or something else big, something with the orchestra. Yeah, Pembridge. I, gu I guess it's okay. I guess it's good that he's gone. I mean, not in like a, I didn't like the character sort of way, but more just. I think he's kind of a little one note. I mean, they're kind of to represent the old ideas and mindsets uh, within music, classical music world. Um, and you know, it's like, oh, he's getting pushed out more and more. He's getting upset by this, and really, the only thing left to his character is just the fact that he's um, sleeping with all these other women or whatever. Um, and I guess we can put him away for a while and see what happens. Um, I'm Jophonium, my name is Joe, and I play the Euphonium. I'll see you for another episode of Mozart in the Jungle. This is episode four, so I'll see you for five next time. See ya! Happy playing! <laughs>